स्टूडेंट आज के इस लेक्चर में हम लास्ट को डिस्कस करेंगे इससे पहले हम फाइव मेजर रीजन को डिस्कस कर चुके हैं टूडेज लेक्चर इज ऑल अबाउट नियरटिक रीजन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दर्टिब्रेट फोना ऑफ नियरटिक रीजन इंडेमिक फिशीज ऑफ नियरटिक रीजन एंड सम अफिनिटीज विद अदर रीजन एंड एज वेल क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन ऑफ नियरटिक रीजन लेट्स स्टार्ट द लेक्चर Nearctic region actually include whole of North America as well. It include middle of Mexico and Greenland. South America was included in neotropical region that we have discussed in previous lecture. But North America is present in Nearctic region. Climatic condition, uh, the uh, climatic condition. our physical features of nearctic region uh, has a vast diversity and there is a huge uh, physical features of this region for example in greenland the climate is entirely arctic it means a huge ice caps are present but the layers of ice caps is unknown when we talk about the eastern part of uh, nearctic region it include deciduous forest uh, deciduous forest actually shows the, uh, the leaf fall every in every season and uh, in middle part it composed of grassland in northern region it have coniferous forest but the temperature of northern part is quite low as compared to the other region uh, for example uh, it is quite low than the europe if we talk about the latitude of europe uh, it also have low temperature but uh, nearctic region have quite low than europe latitude life is very scarce in this region because the temperature is very low and it is very uh, hard to survive the species uh, under this temperature so uh, the species can survive in this temperature that can tolerate uh, such low temperature if we talk about the zoological characteristic uh, total 120 families of terrestrial vertebrates are present in this region out of which 26 are mammalian species 59 are uh, fauna uh, sorry avian species like bird and 21 species are reptilian and 14 are amphibian species which means there is no pisces or fishes are present in this region so uh, five families are peculiar and endemic to this region out of 120 uh, two families are mammalian one are bird reptilian and um, amphibian families are one mammalian families are aplodontidae family which include mountain breaver antilo uh, carpidae which include wrong horn bug caminidae arontit uh, anelidae California lizard and in amphibian Serenidae family uh, include our mud eel, which is a tailed amphibian. These five families of vertebrate are endemic to Nearctic region. There are some uh, common mammals are present in this region like rocky goat, musk ox, American buffalo, bear, deer, wolf. footed uh, mules uh, moles and american badger armadillo opossum and deers are also common in this region as you can see here on the screen these organisms are common to this region and they can tolerate the low temperature so they can survive in this region avian fauna or birds fauna peculiar to species are grouse and turkeys but other uh, birds are also important to this region for example wood warbler red cardinals hummingbird hawk pelican heron crane vulture sand peeper and kingfisher all the birds are common to this region but grouse and turkeys are peculiar and endemic to this species here you can see here is a turkey grouse wood warbler and pelican Tail alligator, snapping, and musk turtle, geckos, and there are uh, some uh, families. There are some species of snakes are also present in this region. And Helodroma, which was present in neotropical region, is also present in this region. And we have already discussed Helodroma is a poisonous lizard, um, and it is the world largest poisonous liz lizard, which is also present in neotropical as well in Nearctic region. Here you can see uh, Helodroma. Uh, which is a lizard uh, but it look like a crocodile or uh, but it is a lizard and it is a poisonous lizard amphibian fauna is comparatively rich tailed amphibian are also present frogs and toads are also 
numerous and in uh, mountain stream of northwest usa there are some peculiar species of frog uh, ascapus is also present as you can see here uh, ascapus have a tail uh, which is rudimentary and it means uh, the ancestor of ascapus was a uh, tailed uh, ancestor so uh, it reduced the tail and it developed the limbs part, uh, according to their environment and according to their movement there are some affinities of neuritic region with other region uh, actually characteristic of uh, some region is not only due to the presence of particular species but uh, it is also the character of particular region if the species is not present in that region for example there is no hedgehog there is no hyena pig uh, is present uh, from palearctic region uh, as uh, we talk about the palearctic region all the species are present in that region and there is no thapi from neotropical region more surprisingly no camels which are represented in both palearctic and neotropical region it means camels are present in palearctic and neotropical region but there is no camels and no thapi are present in uh, neotropic region out of 24 families of neoratic land mammals none of has a discontinuous distribution in other word neoratic does not share any family exclusively with other of the old world tropical region or with australia it is the smallest region that we have discussed and it is a uh, very few families are uh, exclusive or endemic to this region that's all about neoratic region i hope you understand the lecture if you under understand the lecture and if you like please share like subscribe the video stay connected allah hafiz